Hey everybody and welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. My name is Amanda if you're new here and we are currently going through the prayer journal prompts one every single day. So welcome to the channel and welcome to prayer journaling for beginners. So this is a video series the Lord laid on my heart to do with a passion for women and men who have a hunger to get to know the Lord better and doing that through journaling our prayers. I created a free printable that's in the description box below this video on seven reasons why prayer journaling is important so pick that up we are going to say a quick prayer and we're going to get started in our prompt this book is available in the description box below if you would like to pick it up as well as a printable god i thank you for this day i thank you for this time that we get to spend together here on the internet lord i ask that you would bless this time god and help us to grow to know you closer god help us to hunger and to thirst after you and you alone in a world full of distractions help us be focused on you today in jesus name amen Okay, so we are officially on day three in our journal. So if you want to flip to page three, go ahead and get out your pens, your washi tape, your stickers, whatever it is that you like to do to add a little bit of extra pizzazz to your page. And we're going to go ahead and dig in. So today's prompt says, God, at times I wonder if you hear me when I pray. By faith, I know you do. And today I'm asking... So it's very important when we come to God in prayer that we remember that it is by faith that first of all, we believe that there is a God. And if we believe that there is a God, we certainly must by faith then believe that he hears us when we call on his name. It may be in a still of the night, it may be in the middle of a crisis, and it may be from the valley or the mountaintop that you're crying out to God today. Whatever your situation is today, I want to encourage you to know that by faith, we have gathered here on this video to, together today to claim that God hears us. So go ahead and journal what comes to mind for you when you see the specific writing prompt. So for me, I'm gonna say today I'm asking for guidance to put you first in all things. We've talked so much lately about all the distractions of the world and we've talked so much about how things are just so crazy and chaotic in the world all around us and I think that remembering to put God first is so so crucial because everything we do stems from having that relationship with him and coming to know him in a clear and very relatable way so i think that definitely seeking god first is one of the ways that the enemy wants to fight us and to tempt us to allow us to fill our day and our time um, that we have throughout the days in different ways other than putting god first and so i want to remind myself so that's the reason why I added that one to my journal. So another thing I like to do, and especially if you're just beginning, you need some prayer journaling tips here. I love these little sticker packs and I've linked some of them below, but this just adds a nice little touch, I guess, to your journal if you like pretty things and stickers and colors and, and the such. And then the hearts actually can serve as bullet points. So, so to put God first in all things, that's what I'm asking. And I specifically need, this is gonna sound kind of funny, but I'm in my nurse practitioner program and I need a women's health nurse practitioner that I can do clinicals with. And the thing about prayer journaling is this, this is going to serve as a reminder for me when I come back and I look at this prayer journal on this specific entry and once God has answered this prayer for me, I can come back and check off the box. And the Bible teaches us this a scripture that comes to mind when I'm thinking about asking. The Word of God says that if we ask and if we knock that God is faithful that we shall receive whatever we ask in faith believing and if we knock on a door it shall be opened unto us so by faith today I'm activating my faith I'm claiming and I'm praising in advance that God is going to help me locate this woman's health preceptor normally you need to get them about six months to a year or more in advance but I know that God is opening doors for me 
and I it would be very very easy for me to begin to worry because this rotation should start in the middle of March and I haven't even found my preceptor yet but I know that I serve a God that is faithful and I am doing my due diligence and I am actively seeking and most importantly I am taking this need to God in prayer so I encourage you to write out even in list format, you know, asterisk or hearts or stars or circles or whatever you like to do, the things that you are asking in faith today. Maybe you like to journal out line after line of text, which actually is what I do after these videos is, are over. I come back in and I pour out my prayers more in depth. So I do just like a bulleted point thing here for you guys while we're talking together. And then you can see the tracking system here. I'm able to check mark off the page once I have given all of this to the Lord in prayer. But maybe you work best on bullet points. Maybe you work best on lists. And if you do, that's another thing that these little sticker packs have inside them are different lists that you can use. So maybe you'll just put in a sticker here and, and say today. So today I'm trusting that Genesis is going to have a good day. At daycare she started with a new fill-in babysitter which is actually going very amazing and I'm super thankful for that and I'm just gonna put I trust you because ultimately at the end of the day that's what it's all about we come to God in prayer through faith believing that he is going to meet a need that he's going to fulfill the desires of our heart but ultimately we have to trust that god's perfect will and his perfect plan is going to prevail no matter what so this is my example for today and there's a song that talks about um about hearing god and it says well it's the lyrics say yet in the darkness still i will sing and that reminds me of hearing the voice of god because in the darkness in those moments where we're pouring ink out on paper and we're pouring tears out in prayer and we're really seeking god for a specific thing and we're asking and we're beseeching him and we are praising in advance but we by trust and by faith we know that even in the midst of the darkest situations on the darkest days that god is going to be there for us and that he is going to light the way and so i just want to remind you guys today that through this writing prompt that god hears you when he pray when you pray and when you reach out to him and you pour your heart out whether it's through prayer journaling whether it's through just a simple prayer in the middle of the night lying on your bed. There is no right or wrong way to pray. There is no right or wrong way to Bible journal. And I pray that these writing prompts are blessing you. And I pray that these videos are bringing you a sense of encouragement, knowing that God meets you in prayer and that he is there in the midst of every single situation. If you seek God first, as Matthew 6 and 33 teaches us to do, um, it's so vitally important that we continue these daily writing prompts together and we grow together and that we begin to know one another even in a closer way as we learn more and more about what it is that God is calling us to. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 and 12, then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. And I think that that is definitely a Bible verse that I want to include here in today's section because I want to remember that and probably after this video I'll write out that specific Bible verse and maybe I'll actually utilize that as a learning memorization verse for me so I'll finish up my journaling after this is over but I want to go back here and show you guys the prayer points if you haven't already started using them I filled this one out before the video started today because I was actually in prayer and I wanted to use this simple system. So the prayer points page is very, very easy to use as you can tell. I just literally write out the name of the person that I want to pray for. Sometimes it's a little longer of a request, sometimes it's just a name. And then I have a fertile journal who I add names for people who are struggling and trying to conceive. So I'm praying over those specific ladies um, who are really seeking God. and. 
um, praying over people that have been sick. I had a, a sweet subscriber reach out and ask for prayer for her daughter in one of the comment sections. So I, re I wrote that in for today and just really seeking God and giving everything to him in prayer. So don't forget to check out the description box of this video today and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, the more watch time that I accumulate under these videos, the more YouTube will push these out, the more ladies and gentlemen that can find these videos and that we can continue to connect with below. And March's monthly prayer journal book and printable is being uh, developed and is almost done. So if you have a writing prompt idea, if you have a quote or a favorite Bible verse and you would like your name mentioned in March's contributors section, which I'm going to have an entire page that is slated just for contributors to the journal, I would love to add your name to the next edition of my book. And I would love for you to join alongside me in this ministry. No 